Welcome back, everybody. This is the 2023 Derby City Classic One Pocket Division, round number four. And we have two familiar players, one maybe more than the other, Justin Hall versus Justin Volk. It's the Battle of the Justins. Justin Volk, I, I'd call him a dark horse. He's in round four, no losses. He can play the game. This will be an interesting match. I am your host, Scott Frost, a.k.a. The Freezer. And I'll be bringing this match to you live. So go to YouTube and like Railbirds TV. Subscribe and like them. They're bringing a lot of awesome matches for us on YouTube. So please like and subscribe. Thank you guys very much. Looks like Justin won the lag. This is very important in a race to three. His pocket's going to be on the lower right side. His cue ball is real close to the rail. I've noticed a lot of players breaking a little more out to the center. Well, he's broken quite well if the two stays low. One of the reasons the guys break them more out towards the center is it puts less impact on the second ball, which keeps the lower corner ball from coming out. Now, that's theory anyway. In hindsight, I don't know. Justin just broke them real good. As you can see, Hall looking for a way out. I immediately see a carom off of the eight. I don't think he can do anything on the lower rail except maybe try to kick the 14 over into the two. The problem with that is it would sell the 11 and one out. Uh, he tried to come behind it and take it out. And that's exactly what he played. I'm not hugely favored at, at that decision. I think that if he just goes into it and, and, and takes his medicine, gives up the ball, you know, Justin's a, a world-class player. I think that that's what he should have done there. So Justin Hall owes one. Justin Volk with ball in hand, and you'll notice the 8 and 1 are open. I believe the 14 and 11 also play. So let's see how Justin does. A uh, nice straight stroke. He didn't do anything with the cue ball. I guess I can't fault him there. These are four and a quarter inch pockets. Diamond upgraded them this year for the tournament. And uh, the one pocket players and everybody else loved them. This was a good and bad shot at the same time. A little unfortunate that the 11 covered up the 3 or the 3 covered up the 11. Whichever way you want to look at it. Coming up to the 1 now. Yeah, and you can see right away that Justin Volk can, can swing his weapon a little bit. And he's got a decision to make. I think he's got to spin this with inside and try and come into the 15, even the 4, and just get lucky and maybe get a shot on the 6. Uh... I actually didn't mind the way he played that. He got a shot on the six. He just, his backswing was a little quick, guys. If you'll, if you'll uh, notice, that backswing was just a little quick. Jeremy Jones talks about it all the time: acceleration and deceleration. And uh, every pool player does it. Just some a lot less than others. Justin Hall has an option here. He can either try and spin this into the stack or he can just try and come up and down. I don't think he can hold it. Now he's got to use a bridge. I think he's going to go up and down. Yeah, he couldn't really put anything on it. Is he going to get a good rub? Oh, he might have got an amazing rub. I'm not sure, but that could have been very fortunate. Doesn't look like he's got a shot on the nine. <laughs> nice angle there. This angle is a little misleading. The camera's high and far back, but it's a very great angle, and the cameras are excellent. Well, 11 off the three. Creative, but he lost that cue ball a little bit. 
I know that most top players are going to cut at that six. I, I, that's a given. And Justin Hall was not pleased with the loss of the cue ball there. Justin Volk not entertaining it. Yeah. I guess that's probably all he had. I don't know what good it's going to do him. I think it's going to hold him down for a split second. But it could get worse. He could go up to the one, actually, and he is. Uh, I like the way he played that. Instead of just rolling up to the one, go ahead and get it down table. Um, I'm looking at possibly the soft kick on the 11. Let's see what else can he do. Can he cross the one and swing the cue ball between the six and the three? Back up to the top left corner. That's uh, pretty risky. And he's hit it pretty hard. Yeah, he just overhit it. I, I mean, if he just hits it pocket speed or rail speed, I don't think he sells that out. Nerves might be getting to Mr. Volk here early in game number one. He does lead three balls to zero. Uh, it's a pretty big error there. It looks like Justin Hall decelerated. I'm going to call him Hall, and I'm going to call the other one Volk. Let's go with that. Looks like Hall's going to... I like banking the two into the six, personally. But maybe maybe just banking it flat into the three is better. Yeah, I think you could have got more out of that if you just pump it one rail into the stack, maybe into the three and four. I think you're going to push a lot your way and maybe get lucky and pocket something. Volk's got an opportunity to see this one, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. He couldn't see enough of it. Justin going to, excuse me, Hall going to protect the 2 and 10. It needs to get a rail. I can't fault him for going that direction, though. The 2 and 10 are big balls, but what's this spot ball doing now? I would take a look at that 11. See if there's anything you can do there. Okay, that worked out. Justin going to kick the back of this six, or can he see enough of it? Can't tell if he can see enough of that six to play it into the stack, or if he can swerve it and bank it back, or if he's going to kick to the top side of it. Okay, another foul. So Hall fouls again. Volk at the table. If you'll notice, though, more and more balls are working to Justin's side. I might do something with that two there. Like two rail it out, punch the cue ball down below the one, and try and move a bunch of balls to my side of the table. Oh, man. <clears throat> well, he's kind of gotten away with that, hasn't he? I don't think that Hall has anything here. Okay, he's going to clip off the two. Put him right back. Not bad. Not bad. Volk has an opportunity here, I think, to... He could play the five, two rails to his side of the table and just stick him back on top of the four. What's good about that is that Hall will be elevated 
going to the two to stick him back in the pot and into the stack. So there's nothing wrong with two round at five towards the right hand side pocket and sticking him on top of the four. He's going to try and kick to the ten. You always want to aim this low. Yeah, this is the problem with that. You're better off taking a foul to the low side or just barely clipping the 10 than risking hitting the ball full. Uh, and I'm sure he didn't risk to hit the ball full, but I could tell that the way he was aimed, he was taking a chance at hitting the top side of the 10. So always think when you're shooting that two rail foul or two rail kick that it's okay to foul here. You're just trying to get out of a jam. Nice shot by Hall. The three does play. Maybe it doesn't play. I guess it does not play. Excuse me. He's. It must be frozen to the four. Pretty big roll for Volk. Hall going to spot his ball. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with coming off the bottom of the 15, and you can bring the cue ball either one rail down to the, towards the chalk, or you can draw it straight back. But going into the 15 is going to bring the 7 and 13 over to your side of the table. I don't know if he tried to play the 15 to his pocket, but it's okay. So Volk back at the table. A good thing for Hall is that the 15 and 4 have tied up on Volk's side. So when you're shooting a shot like this, you're really focused on the cue ball. Really bearing down on just getting that cue ball to the bottom rail. Might want to hit those, and he did. So he's done. Untied one set of balls and tied up another, but Hall is going to come off of that three. Okay, both of these guys play fairly quick. It's not the easiest to commentate. But the balls right at the moment favor Volk. I might look at trying to get up there behind the seven and one somehow. Whether that means coming off the three, but I don't know about banking this 13. Yeah, I think this is this could be real trouble. And it is. You, you're, you're pushing the envelope there. The angle wasn't there to protect your cue ball. And that, that comes first in the game of one pocket. And now Justin Hall has an opportunity to play one of two shots. He can either play the three or he can play the one. Yeah, he's put a good stroke on it. And he's going to be okay. Playing for six. He's come all the way over for the five, or did he get too steep? Yeah, he got a little steep. Hmm. Looks like he let up on that a little bit as well. And you can tell the frustration. Yeah, he's, he's just not feeling it quite yet. And it's understandable. First game. And you really never know in these matches how much time a player has in between with a maximum amount of players in each event. So sometimes it can be very grueling, very taxing on these guys. I like the shot he played there. He covered up the bank on the four. 
He's kind of he, he's kind of cut everything off for Volk. It's okay. Look at the cue ball. Good speed there. Very good speed. Doesn't want that four to drop. Doesn't want the five to drop. But they both dropped. Mr. Hall shooting trick shots. And Mr. Volk, glad he is problem with that is that one of them is going to come down for bank actually he's probably better off that he did make them both I don't know that the four is straight but looks good enough problem is if he banks at this he's going to sell the five out if he doesn't make it I don't believe there's any way around selling this five out it doesn't look like it on the screen, but I just kind of know how these balls react when there's two on the spot. That cue ball is below that diamond, at least a full ball. Yeah, he's going to sell it out if he hits it hard enough to get to the pocket. And he, he knows it, I think. He, it's a tough shot to pass up, but the problem is... If, in my opinion, if you're going to shoot this, I, w I would elevate and go to the two next. If you're rolling it, I, I feel like if you hit it where you're supposed to make it, you're going to sell this. F well, he he was aware of that. Not quite sure what he attempted, but he was aware that he was going to sell the five out. Hall has an opportunity to long round bank this. And I'll tell you what, this man is deadly accurate with these banks. Caught it just short. I would put Justin Hall in probably, I would definitely put him in the top five bank pool players in America. At, at one time, I would have put him as number one a few years back. I like what Volk is doing, though. I do like his cue ball. It's been better than Justin's as far as... It's been, been better than Hall's as far as that shot's concerned. And just that shot right there can earn you something pretty sweet. Always making your opponent work. The rail is your best friend in scenarios like that. And you'll notice how much time Hall is taking. It's, it's obviously causing him a little bit of trouble. And he's elected to go with the two and just barely get a rail. And it kind of keeps Volk off of anything in the attack area. And believe me, Volk is looking to attack. I think he could two rail the four and go into the 11 with the cue ball using the 15 as protection. If you can go into the 11 heavy, which I, th I, I know you can, you're going to use left-hand spin and two-rail that four. Try and go into the 11 heavy. It's, it's going to be covered up by the 15. Now, you don't want to hit it too hard. Does he see the shot? He does not. Yeah. Good cue ball, but really not a fan. He's tied those balls up for Justin Hall. And Justin Hall is going to have free reign at anything up table now. That tells me that Volk might not have a lot of one pocket experience. His far goes somewhere up in the 660s or 680s. I'm, don't quote me on that. But So that tells me he's a, he can play. Just might not have the one-pocket experience yet. But I'll tell you what. Round four of the Derby City, playing a guy like Justin Hall, will give you the experience that you need. Just keep doing it. Right here, I think you've got to do something with the five... 
But that's the problem. When you've got the balls like the 11, 15, and 4 tied up, Hall is going to constantly leave something down table, keeping you on the defense. The minute that you tie something up over there that you can't make, a, a great player is going to continuously take advantage of that situation by pressuring you. And they're going to do that any way possible. I don't know what, what he's shooting here. You know, I almost can't fault him for shooting that shot. He knew his cue ball was going to Z. If he pockets it, he might get a bank or straight in on the five. He knew he had to make something happen there. <clears throat> oh, what a hit. How do you hit this too short? Man, he stiffened that up too short and hit it, hit it nice and soft as well. That's hard to do. Well, if you cut it the last one, you better cut it this one, buddy. And he is. Pocket speed here. You want to get a bank on the seven. Oh, he's hit it nicely. Oh, it come down. He actually hit that ball really nicely. He hasn't left the bank for Hall. Hall looking to rail first, kick it over. Well, this could get real bad if it scratches. He's avoided the scratch. A lot of distance here. The problem with this shot is that it doesn't really carry any type of secondary shot or aggressive shot following it. You've got to make the ball before anything else. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the problem. Kind of got too many things going on in the mind at one time when you really just need to take care of the first thing. I would shoot the five. And that's what this killer is going to shoot. Uh-oh. He took it out. Could have been worse for Justin Hall. Big break there for Volk. He's got an opportunity to kick behind this. I don't believe the bank is available. I think it's a kiss. I think he can kick behind it for sure. I don't mind him kicking soft. I don't mind that at all. Covers him up on the 13 and really kind of covers him up on everything. Now I wonder if Volk is aware that he's got to do something with that that group of balls over there on the right side, even if it's right now, even if you clip the four and bring your cue ball down to the lower right corner, I wouldn't do this. This is dangerous, but I don't know if he, he's got the room to get by it. He's aware, though. He was aware that if he caught any of those balls, he could sell out. Justin Hall taking a look at this seven ball. Doesn't like it. Yeah, it was very tight. I don't blame him for not liking it. Well, he's got a two railer on this 13 that he's not looking at. You can pinch that two railer with like center right hand cue ball and just lay your cue ball down there. Uh, on that top left diamond. Get the 13 close, nice and easy. Pocket speed. He hasn't looked at it yet. If he keeps walking around, he'll find it. Hmm. I don't know what he's looking at here. Okay. 
that shot tells me that he hasn't played a lot of one pocket. It, he might have gotten away with it, but it was very dangerous. You typically don't want to play defense on your opponent's side of the table. Excuse me, on your opponent's offensive, it, on the same side that you're playing offense on. And I guess a better explanation of that is, like if you have the stack, the last thing you really want to do is play defense on the wrong side of the stack. Unless you're forced, and their Volk wasn't forced. But it's going to cause him some problems. This is a direct result of that, even if he can see the 11. Going to come below the 7 here. You got to get it to your side. Oh, he's done a, a fine job of that. So he's he's gotten out of that little trap. Trying to figure out what Hall has. He can cross this ball, maybe going to the five. Trying to double him up. Is Volk going to go for this five ball again, or can he see the seven? Looks to me like he can see the seven across it. Watch the scratch. Top left corner. Yeah, he had a good opportunity there. That was that was an error on on Justin Hall's part. Justin gonna two rail kick this seven out or one rail cross it up. Yep, one rail crossed it up. So here's an opportunity Volt could go rail first and, and clip the four. He's going to leave a bank on the seven, but sometimes it's like, yeah, danged if you do, danged if you don't. He's shot that shot once before, and he did well with it. I can't hate it. Notice that Hall is not moving that four and 15. Four balls apiece. This is round four. We are at the Derby City Classic, and this is the One Pocket Division. I am your host, Scott Frost, a.k.a. The Freezer. Now he's doing something with him. Oh, and he, he's, he's went from one problem to another, and kind of unlucky there. He's... The fours in a place I don't believe will go to tie the five and 15 up. Justin, what a hit that was. He was aiming for the thinnest side of that ball. Basically free if you'll notice the cue ball going two rails up table. He did avoid the scratch, which was a little fortunate, but he hit it really clean. Yeah, I think I think Volk is aware that he needs to do something with this four ball. But I don't know that it's time. You could go rail first on this four as well, bringing your cue ball down to the lower left side. You got to protect against this seven ball. And I mean protect against the bank. Uh, he tried to play that off the 11. Good thought. It's just a little thin. 
elevated over this ball. He's thinking hang it up at minimum. And he's split the pocket. Jay Hall playing for two in game number one to take a one nothing lead. Slide over for the 15. He'll take that. Playing for one. That's what we call a tester there. I think he's kind of intentionally left Volk this back cut bank on the seven. And, it, it, you know, we tend to do this because if, if he hits it short, he's going to leave a cross corner. And if he hits it long, it can go bad a bunch of different ways. Yeah, Hall's going to two rail at this. Plays cue ball over into those stripes. Oh, he didn't bend it as much as I thought. Uh, I would look at my options here. I would consider possibly going into the 15 and leaving Hall elevated on, on the 7. Elevated over the 13. This is okay if you can drop back into those stripes. Yeah, he's under hit it. I'm pretty certain in, that Hall will take the cut here. And he is attacking, so he's going to cut at this four. And he's going to pocket it. Justin Hall takes game number one. And it, it's at one point, it looked like Volk was going to take that game. He had ball in hand early and made some nice shots. I am your host, Scott Frost, a.k.a. The Freezer. And we are here at Derby City. What an event this has become. I mentioned previously that they've tightened these pockets up to four and a quarter inches. Throughout the years with brand new cloth and four and a half inch tables, the pockets played very forgiving. So a, a bunch of players, if not all of them, we're voting for a little bigger pocket. If you notice there, Hall had his cue ball out more towards the center. He didn't get anything low. I think he caught too much of the head ball. Mm. Yeah, that's going to hurt. I think he was trying to come into the bottom of the stack and stick him. Hall going to open some things up here. He can definitely come off the edge of the six or punch under the 15 with the six. Oh, he's done well. Not bad at all. Didn't want the six tied up all the way up there in the corner pocket, but sometimes you've got to take what you are dealt with. Gonna keep him snowed up in here. Yeah, Volk is gonna be forced here to probably take a foul under the 15, but your cue ball speed is very important here. Well, excuse me, great shot. He went at the bottom half of the 15, and he's done excellent. Doesn't look to me like that 12 is frozen, so I know that he can chip off the left edge of it, putting him up somewhere up there in the vicinity of the green 6, using the 10 and 13 as protection. Or he could try and come two rails into the stack. I like going up table here. Yeah, he's, he's had a good angle, but notice that he did move the 15 away from his pocket. 
get five or inches. Now Volt can definitely come off the three and just lay on the bottom rail. Sometimes in our minds as players, that's not really effective, right? But it is effective for the time being. It's kind of all you got. And here's a similar mistake he made earlier. He's going to two rail kick to this 15. It's just kind of too far out there in the open. And he did well with it, but it's just a very, very tough shot to judge. Very good shot, though, uh, to, to get him past that, that inning. And Hall's applying the pressure. Uh, it's a little fortunate for Volk that those tied up. Can two rail this 12 out and follow down into the corner. Really just thinking about your cue ball here. Yeah, I think Justin's going to back cut bank at this 12. Not a lot threatening Volk's pocket. That one's going to be on layaway. <coughs> uh, he's got he's got a couple options. He could cut at that lower stripe, but there's really no future in it. He could play the one into the edge of the 12, but I don't know that he can hold the cue ball. Yeah, I don't think this is a, this is probably going to hurt. If he doesn't pocket it, it's... He actually hit it quite well, too. Does the 13 pass the 8? If the 13 passes the 8, then he can almost stop right there for the 8. He's going straight at the 10, or the 12. Oh, he's not going to like this. Yeah, he's immediately looking at the 13. He might be able to squeeze it by there, but he's not. Uh, is he going to get a shot on the eight if he does make it? He is going to get a shot on the eight, and he did make it. Great, great execution by Justin Hall. What can he go to next? I don't see much. Yeah, I don't see much, but, but he will be happy with this. So you're going to go to the one. I don't like going to the one because if you don't get there, or you go too far, you've trapped yourself. I would probably just see if I can make this ball and then, well, he's gotten there. You'll notice, though, if he didn't get there, he's kind of in a, in a little bit of a trap. Justin Hall loosening up, clearly going to pocket the 10 for Volk. Might even use the 9 and carry him the 10 in. He definitely took a look at it. And once again, we've got balls tied up. The 2 and the 15 are trouble for Hall. But Volk almost feels forced to do something with him. I think if you overcut this 15, the two will come across as well. This is a, this is a power shot. Nice shot by Volk. Very nice shot. Good cue ball. Got a lot of motion. Kick into the 15. Can 
he see the two? Instead of it's actually the cue ball's done real well. Very tough to do there. I was going to say instead of bringing the cue ball all the way down, leave it up on that top rail and really force Justin to work. But I think this is just as good. Yeah, this is really pretty good what he did there. He, he had Justin in trouble. Well, he's got a free bank on this four. Notice the two and five. Nothing goes in Hall's pocket. He's got a free bank on the four. He can cross the three. I like the four. Eh, he's got too much angle. Cross the three with inside. He's using outside. Drawing it out two rails. Eh, he's done well. Needs it to slow down. Well, he's definitely got an angle here. Can he get on the combination? Is the seven wired? Seven looks like it's going a little low. Must be close. He's got to knock this down before he can worry about anything else. Yeah, a little body movement. If Justin were to watch this match, the only advice I might be able to give him is he's just a little quick in that backswing under certain situations. Uh, we all do it. I, I just noticed that uh, from the first game and then now, Hall's got a bank on the five, and if he pockets it, it could cost Volk game number two. A little quick on the backswing for Volk. Volk. Hall playing for five, going into the seven here. Playing for four. He's going to pick these off. Trying to think of how he gets his third ball here. Excuse me, I had that a, a little off, clearly. Justin Hall takes game number two. And once again, I felt like Volk had a couple opportunities. I don't think Justin's in full stride yet, meaning Justin Hall. I think he's either fatigued or, or just hasn't gotten fully loosened up. That being said, Justin Hall takes game number two, leading this race to three, two to nothing. I noticed that Volk is playing with an extension. His, his last break in game number one executed very well. Let's see if he can repeat that. Oh, he's caught the second ball. As I was alluding to earlier, and he's gotten away with it, kind of. Hall is into the five, or, yeah, he's going to kick into the five and stick. So I'd like to talk about that break that Volk just made. The, the issue is when you're playing on new cloth, and you've got to spin the cue ball with Mac, Maximum inside English trying to clip that head ball. A lot of times the English won't take back, meaning it'll come outwards with the spin and you can't judge or if you try to judge sometimes it just doesn't come back in in time. Like a ma you're massing it out and it just doesn't come back in in time. And that's what happened there, causing Volk to hit the second ball just too thick. And I like what Hall's done here. He's put all the focus into the cue ball, challenging Volk. And it's a challenge I wouldn't accept. I don't believe he can get much out of this. 
and it's going to cost him possibly the game if he doesn't execute to attack. And he's chosen wisely. Nice shot by Mr. Volk. Very good shot under the steam. He looks focused. Take your time. He was a little quick there with the backstroke again. He's got a fluid stroke. Everything looks really nice. Body movement's very minimal. It's just that final stroke at certain times tends to get us all. I like trying to get on this five here. I wouldn't play for the bank on the four. When you have an open ball like that, if you can draw the cue ball between the four and five and you don't get there, you've got a shot on the four at minimum. Yeah. <clears throat> Did he get a bank on the six? Is that what he was playing for? Yeah, I know he could have drawn that. He was pretty straight. He cheated it a little bit to get the cue ball high. But he's kind of put himself in the 50-yard line. Yeah. I feel like, looking back for him, I feel like he could have done a bit more there because he's going to be on the defensive end of this for the next several innings at minimum. I don't think you can see enough of this six, to, but I can't tell. Is he coming off the three? He is. Needs it to settle. He's done pretty good there, to be real honest. Just looking to see if he can one rail more and get past the two with the cue ball. He's banking at the six. Oh, he, look what he's done with the cue ball. I like it. Very, very good. Keeping Volk on the defense. This is going to be trouble. The two doesn't bank for Volk. The five's got him. I don't know if he can see the back of the ticky kick. Kick behind the four, and that would also kick by the six, maybe. Can he come off the edge of the two, please? Okay, this is what he's done. Good for now. Good for now. I think Hall's going to come off the four and put him up by this right-hand side pocket. I'd like to have caught it a little thinner, I'll bet. Does Volk have a window to the six? Oh, I believe he does. Huge. Oh, that's huge. He's kind of lost his cue ball there. Yeah, he's lost his cue ball. Hall's going to bank at this. Take a little more time on that shot for Justin Volk. Volk get it to three. Boy, it looks like he can get it to three here. If not, I would try and consider, I would consider at least making the five up to my side and playing the cue ball five, six. Or you can do that. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Is Ju Justin, to me, I feel like Justin's an attack Justin Hall, I feel like he's in attack mode. Is he looking to bank this eight thin and go into the 13? No, nope. he's he's going up table with these object balls. Yeah, he's kind of decided he'll just take what he can at this point. Folk leading three balls to nothing in this game. And it, I feel like I'm kind of 
a broken record. I feel like Volk's had some ball leads, which is a compliment to Volk. Um, he's getting the first shots. He's getting some some good stuff out of his moving, and, and then it's kind of like mid-game. Some of the stuff is falling apart. Nice combo kick there. Very nice. I would take a look at this five. Play the five into the four and draw your cue ball down here to the left side of the two. No. Yeah, I, li I like moving the five there if I'm Justin Volk. It's not terrible. Jeez. Hall has gotten a little bit of roll there. 13 or 3 could have sold out. They got a good kiss down there in the lower end. Yeah. Boy, very risky once again. Instead of following that ball... He decided to play it to his side and try and hide him in the stack, and it turned out okay. But if you catch that 9 wrong, you're probably going to sell the 11 out. Worked out for him this time. I think, I think Hall has to come off the 5 or the 12. I don't even know that he can see the bottom of the 5 or the or the 5. Oh, he could see. He could see all of it. Volk leading 4 ball. Nothing. Look at what that combo looks like. The 15-12. Is it laying right with a four to nothing lead? I'm not going to shoot it, but, but but I couldn't fault him for shooting it. Okay, this is okay. I like it. Protect the 13. The 13 doesn't seem like much over there for Volk on the top right side of your screen, but it's a pretty big ball. Keeps Justin Hall from really banking anything long rail up table and going forward. He's kind of forced Hall here to push him up table with a f being down four balls to nothing. I don't know that he wants to do that, but then again, he's up two games to zero. So why not? You might be a favorite in the ma match, right? And you're probably a slight favorite in the game, each game. So that's the problem. You, I was a little concerned about the 13. I think Volk can afford to shoot it. I don't think you can afford to shoot this. Now with a four to nothing lead and all those balls in the open down here. Yeah, that combination actually looks pretty good to me, but but I wouldn't I wouldn't shoot it with a four to nothing ball lead. Can you bank the five back up table and miss the kiss? I mean, this has turned out really nicely. I actually looked at that shot and wondered if the nine was on. Uh, it was pretty close. Is it frozen? Oh, that's kind of a cute little shot. I like that. I would consider at least taking a look at the double up. Otherwise, I play the 9 over towards the 13. So banking the 9 over towards the 13 and playing your cue ball one rail down. Somewhere in between the chalk and the left-hand corner pocket. Yeah, when you've got a 4 to nothing ball lead, you just don't want to go up table like this. Yeah, and this... This could cost him quite a bit. 
I mean, it's cost him one for sure. I don't believe that stripe passes, which is the 11, and if it does, it's tight. And he's, he's elevated alive. Very tough shot to get close. Oh, he's hit it great. What a hit that is. And this is why you just don't want to go up table when you've got it with the cue ball. You just don't want to put the cue ball up table when you when you don't have to. And Volk had an opportunity to just bring the cue ball down and come off the nine or another ball. I think that Hall is going to cut at this as well. And he has. And he, he's, he's, I think he's offensive mode. And it wouldn't be this for me. I would bank at the nine before I banked at this. This is real trouble if he doesn't make it. Yeah. Just a bit of an experience um, f f from from Volk is what I see. Hall playing for five. He needs that to stop. Did he get there? He might have gotten perfect. Uh, he's decelerated. We've seen that three times now from him. Could be a sign of fatigue. These guys gamble all night, all morning, all day. This tournament is grueling. But that's why if you win this tournament, you earned it. I don't think there's much to think about here. If you're Volk, got to get that nine down one way or the other. Looks to me like he can swerve around the 15 at worst and go rail first. Maybe not. Maybe he's got a kick. I really like his stroke. He's he's got a nice stroke. Yeah. Coming off the twelve. Four balls apiece, guys. This is a race to three. Justin Hall leads two games to zero. I am your host, Scott Frost, a.k.a. The Freezer. And I appreciate you all tuning in to Railbirds TV. We are at the Derby City Classic 2023 One Pocket Division round number four. Neither player has a loss. Looks like Justin Volk is going at this eight ball. Oh, he's hit it pretty good. Oh, man, he just rattled it out. He hit it really well, too. We kind of lost the cue ball. I don't know if he's maybe feeling a little bit of panic, and this is, this is why he's aggressive the last half of this game. Oh, my. Expect that miss from Hall. Could have been a lot worse. He five-railed or four-railed that 12 towards bulk side and it got a kiss. So, so now it makes it a challenge for Volk to get position on something else. Kind of, I think you're just kind of got to cinch this eight and come out in the center of the table for making on the 12. Yeah. If he banked at the eight earlier, I would definitely not fault him for banking at this two. The two ball. Looks like it lays okay. If you get it close or hang it up, I don't see Justin Hall shooting at anything aggressive. But he's electing to pass the bank up. 
see. We're going to leave the cue ball protected here. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Hall is going to bank at that 2 or the 13. You're better off leaving that cue ball right there by the 13. Or excuse me, by the 11. He's hit that... Volk leads five balls to four, and it seems some kind of a broken record. He's had ball leads throughout the remainder of this, or the main part of this match. He's got a cross bank on this, too, but once again, you're in the lead in the game. If you miss this cross bank, you could sell out a bank. You could sell out the 12. Yeah, now he's going at the 12. You hit this short. It's really bad. You hit it in the middle. It's really good. Excellent shot there. He's playing for two. He's got a shot on the two. Now he can level out here with straight top English. And one rail up behind the 13 for position. Oh, don't scratch him. Don't scratch it. Worst case scenario. He overcut it a bit. If you'll notice where the two went, it went directly to the right long rail. I think if he hits it on the money, or even close to on the money, it's natural position and coverage behind that 13. But instead, Justin Hall playing for four and has ball in hand. He's knocked it down. Giving him bank on the blue two. I think he's just going to what he can get here. Try and cinch the bank. He's earned a back three or the 13. I almost like the three more. change and score ball count here. Hall now has six playing for two and Volk is playing three following that scratch that he just had in the top right corner. Uh, he's hit it straight in the face. I think that was just a miss hit. You couldn't hit the left side of the 13. You had to go to the right side. Justin Hall playing for two. I'm going to stop right here. Take the three for the win and a three to nothing win and to advance in a round five without a loss. He's double kissed it. He's fortunate he didn't scratch. I don't know what he's left though. Wow, he hit that really pretty good. That was about as good as you could hit it, so it almost tells me it didn't go. Once again, he's left Hall cross corner to win this match in round five. He's overbanked it and almost lost control of the cue ball again. As they say, folks, this ball can be tough to get. He's kind of left Volk in a tricky position. I feel like this might be a kiss. If he if he takes on the cross bank, he's going to take the kick on. But boy, a, a lot of times this will leave a return bank if you hit this with any speed. Yeah, he's actually spun this cue ball 
into the bottom of the three, overcutting the kick, allowing Justin Hall to cut this in for the win. Oh, and he's hit it that very fat. He's allowed Volk back into this match. Volk can cut this three in, go up into the 11, make the 12, get a bank on the 11, and then shoot the 12 spot ball. I like what he did there. When you don't feel right when you're down on the ball, get up completely, regroup, get back down. Never pull the trigger until you're 100% confident. I mean, he's hit it fat as well. He would have liked to have made that 12 and ran into the 11. That would have covered Hall up. Hall has another. Uh, he's just elected to put it to his side. A couple of missed opportunities by both players. Yeah, you don't want to do anything with those now. No. Very risky. Yeah, I don't, that's going to do it. I think that uh, I think that's going to cost Mr. Volk the match. I will tell you something though. He's put on a heck of a heck of a fight by taking ball leads, but Justin Hall is going to advance into round number five with no losses. Justin Volk going to go to the one loss side. They redraw every round. I am your Scott Frost, a.k.a. The Freezer. Thank you all for joining us. Until next time, bye for now.